Uh, hey. Hello? Wow. Pretty. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's, sorry. Welcome. Sorry about that. Welcome to the Wonder Closet. That is our national greeting. I, I kind of like it. I cannot, I cannot burp on cue. Uh, if you decide to burp, just go ahead and let it out. Don't even tell us. Or you can fart. All right, it's coming. It, it, it's coming out one end or the other, but I'll, I'll share it. All right. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Uh, how are you doing, man? How are you doing tonight? I am good, man. I'm hiding up on the third floor of my house, drinking scotch, staying away from my three children, hoping they don't know I'm up here. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Well, we got some questions for you, Mr. Matt Servito. Are we saying your last name right? You are. You can also, if you want to add a little Italian, so I say Servito. 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 Yeah. Servito. Is that, is that, is that? Yeah, Servito. Do we have to do the, uh, the, ha the, the hand, hand thing? thing? Is the hand you go, thing? You got to do the hand thing. Okay. You got to like, yeah. Mwah. Should I yeah. kiss my fingers? Mwah. Mwah. Beautiful. Let's let's go. Let's go full stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we got some questions for you, Mr. Servito. Uh, are there are there any previous uh, bosses uh, you take inspiration from? Um, I, I think most of them are t uh, were t of the televised sort. Um, I, I loved um, Ed Asner, um, who played uh, Mary Tyler Moore's boss on her show. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he was just a curmudgeon, um, you know, and he drank, and he was. Uh, you know, just hated his job, and uh, but he also had kind of a little bit of a, of a, you know, a heart in the end of it. And I think that's the thing with my state. And I've tried to, you know, um, have Satan have have a heart in the end because really, we want you to come down and join us. And I just think you want to show that he has a vulnerable, sweet side. Um, but um, no, other than that, I mean, like I'm definitely not Steve Carell. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, I think I'm trafficking um, it's almost more a little bit like, you know, if Gene Simmons had his own TV show where he was like a <laughs> boss of some, you know, oh, company yes. that he owned or something like that. Um, well, like Gene I like Simmons to be an yeah. undercover boss. Gene Simmons. Right. Yes, exactly. He there should, in fact, we should... <laughs> That's very funny. We should do an undercover boss episode. You guys should. <laughs> what? Well, you heard it. You heard it uh, here. We'll get that credit. Yeah. If you if that episode happens, it was here. Listen, it is. It is. Make no mistake. The writing for the show is kind of by committee. So you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Did you have to? Um, how would you have to research in order to play to Satan? Play Satan. Like how? How do you? How do you how do you get in the mindset of Satan? Yeah, or you know, I sort of I, I, I kind of uh, I read Dante's Inferno. I, I did all like that kind of classic research, but then I began to realize that you know we were going to traffic more in sort of like a, a sad aging metalhead as Satan. So it was just <laughs> kind of you know listening to a lot of '80s and '90s uh, metal bands. Um, wearing clothes where that showed a lot of skin and tattoos and like gold chains and some leather. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, so it, it but also, uh, uh, also it's it's a bit of comedic um, sport. So I had to kind of really get my improv game uh, on point because keeping up with Henry Zabrowski uh, has been a challenge for four years. So uh, he keeps me on my toes, man. So for all of the research I can do, I just basically have to be ready to hit the tennis ball back to Henry. That's what's up. That is, it's, yeah. it's all about that, uh, that um, what do you call it? Communication. Communication is yeah. the best thing in the whole wide world. That's why it's very important in uh, human beings in society. Uh, D uh, Derpa Ding Dong in the chat wants to know, uh, who is your favorite guest this season? Oh man. Um, probably Joey Fatone. I mean, he was so good. <laughs> I, I, though we had, I mean, we just had this this trifecta of amazingness um, with the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Um, but I got to tell you, man, that was uh, <laughs> that wasn't easy. Those guys were um, they, they definitely like were living their roles uh, as we were <laughs> shooting. I mean. George Wendt was great, but yep. you know, George, is, George is a little kind of a bit like Norm. 
kind of waiting to finish so we can go get a beer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> John Amos was John Amos is one of my heroes, man. I grew up Ooh. watching him in the '70s and '80s on Roots and on oh. Good Times, all these different nice. uh, guest guesting on all these shows, and um, he was great. He was great, but he was also kind of like what time's lunch, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love those guys, so it was great. Uh, but Joey really kind of got the, the the tone of the sh- the f- tone of the show. Um, oh, no. and, oh. and brought his A game, and he was great, man. Oh. Was great. Oh, that that yeah. pu- that pun you did was a uh, oh. thank you, oh. thank you, mm. delicious. That was, I like that. <laughs> yep. Like that. Uh, what is your personal hell? Um, it's probably traffic related. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, man. Ooh. I just I, I have uh, I've spent a lot of time in Los Angeles. Atlanta and New York, and mm. those are that's mm. like oh. perfect. That is like the perfect that's a traffic gumbo of off <laughs> traffic jam mm. city. And every time I think I've been in the worst traffic jam in like the worst town, Atlanta seems to just Atlanta is really flexing its its muscle. Yeah, mm-hmm. towards, yeah. Awful traffic. I was, mm. I was gonna ask. Um, which, I was gonna ask which city has the worst traffic for you personally. I gotta say it's Atlanta because at least LA there's a there's a there's sort of um, there's waves to the to the to the you know the heavy traffic. Atlanta, like you think, okay, it's two o'clock on a Tuesday, man. I'm good. I can get I can get from Buckhead down to like the airport in like 40 minutes, right? You know, it's all gonna be great. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not gonna happen. No, because, no. Like, you're gonna crawl. Um, and what's amazing is it's six lanes wide. It's not like they haven't tried to make like a bunch of lanes and and a bunch of highway. But man, they have uh, they have built a bunch of condos and a bunch of new buildings. Oh yeah, uh, it's, it's a whole it, bunch of uh, it's just, apartments. Yeah, it's just apartments and condos and lofts. Yeah, yeah. and and whenever they destroy the new. Tear it down the new stadium. They're gonna uh, hollow it out and make condos out of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. And so I always say, like, hell is sitting like in Atlanta traffic with like the air conditioning not working, <laughs> and so you're sitting, you know, with the windows down. It's about 98 degrees out. You're not moving. You don't know why. Um, you've kind of lost the will to live. And yeah. You're like, if there's a hell, I'm in it, man. Yeah. Wow. We're just gonna complain yeah. about Atlanta the rest of the show. Um. Yeah. If you could change uh, the bo- the bottom half of your body, uh, what animal would would you want it to be? Mm. You know, I love um, I love the idea of like being Aquaman, like maybe a dolphin or something on the bottom mm. half. <laughs> um, mm. Maybe a giraffe because that would be like make me really tall. But I think like a leopard. You know, like like leopard print. You know, because you. Because you kind of get a, a good fashion sense, and you're super fat, right? Yeah. I mean, isn't the leopard like or cheetah? Cheetah maybe. One of them's the fastest <laughs> sand animal. Yeah. So I'd be fast and fashionable, you, right? Well, you're and going to the strip. You're going to well, the yeah. club. If you, if you, yeah, I could go totally go to the clubs and they'd be like, oh, look at him, man. He's got the <laughs> leg, and he's wearing a fur coat, got a fur coat, you know, yeah. and and he's wearing that hat. And look at him, but he is also half leopard, so that's not fake. Uh, I don't know if you could see in our in our ball, but you you look like you have beautiful, like uh, what do you call it? like joggers on? Yeah, or like sweatpants. Yeah, they yeah, look, they look really yeah. good. That's that's yeah, because really, I'm, I'm on on our show. I'm half man, half goat, and the goat hair is made with uh, real yak hair. Ooh. And speaking of Atlanta hot, let me just tell you when they turn the air conditioning off in the studio between takes. And you're half man, half goat. <laughs> you're 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 sweaty balls, man. We are you are sweaty balls. Yeah. Uh, and it, when those yak pants come off, thank God. First of all, there's two unfortunately women that help me take them off, and those poor things, man. The smell. Oh boy. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, it's, I guess I end up smelling like yak ball or yak ass. Yak ball. Yak. Yak ass. Yak ass. Yak, yak ass. ass. Yak. Uh, the new uh, MTV uh, show. We coined it right here tonight, Yak Ass. Yak Ass, they jump off a building. Nothing, yeah, nothing smells worse than Yak Ass. Uh, later. Get your Yak Ass out of here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, later God. in the season, uh, we, we'll see you uh, in an episode that you directed, right? Uh, tell us about. Oh, yeah, man. Tell us about your, your directing yeah, chops. Tell us about that shit. 
yeah, that, that's the inmates running the asylum. Let me be perfectly clear, because that, that, like, that was a mistake on their part. Um, I, I had a blast, but I think, you know, in the end, they were like, uh, why did we let one of these idiots, um, you know, to decide where to point the camera? But in the end, I said, I, 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 had, I had the awful um, sort of uh, position to, uh, the, the cat started immediately treating me like, you know, administration, like, like a traitor. Like you're on the you're on the dark side, man. Like we're we're the good guys, and you're Darth Vader, and you're a jerk, and we're not going to listen to you. You know, all these for all these years, I've been part of the, like the red faced fools, man. Like you know, we all just do our funny stuff, and it's up to the director and the uh, the editors to figure out what the hell to do with all this footage. And now all of a sudden, I'm that jackass that has to figure out like. What am I doing with all this? And P.S. Would you please just say the lines as they're written, Henry? Yeah. Because <laughs> I got to get in the editing room, and I have I have no idea how to cut this together. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. but it was uh, it was yeah. I, I I am I am I am a changed man because of it. That's that is the most positive thing I have ever heard from a from from somebody uh, doing a show where they play Satan. This is such a such a great fucking show. These these episodes are had me on the floor. It was so good. I want to throw up. You go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. Season four is sick. We we have like raised the bar. I feel like we find after you know a lot of seasons of doing all sorts of different stuff. Like we are on our game now. And at one episode's better than the next. We got all these great guest stars this season. Uh, we're, we're trying all sorts of things visually, comedically. Like I was describing the show to somebody, and I, somebody, and I showed him some stuff on my phone, and he said, "I can't think of another show on TV that looks like your show." And I mm. said, yeah, "Yep." You yep. know, I mean, visual. And, and what I, I used to think part of the business model of the show was kind of like cheesy effects. Like, you know, we're supposed to look like a quaint '80s Saturday morning cartoon show or something, but. The, the the visual what we're doing in post production now, and I, even on the own the episode that I directed, is amazing, man. We are like sparing no expense. Anything that your mind can think of or the writers can think of, we can visually create in the show, and we are. Okay. Well. Yeah, man. Well. Sorry, I threw up. Well, we appreciate. <laughs> we appreciate you. I wasn't kidding about the throw up thing, right? We, we appreciate you so much, Matt. Servito. I had a good time tonight. Yeah, we had such a good time watching this content that uh, there's puke now. Um. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm I'm uh, I'm just you know I got the scotch is right up in my throat right now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> if I let me just say if I had heard him throw up, I might have thrown up, but I didn't hear it, so I think I'm still good. It was a very we're, soft one. Or yeah, we're all good. Matt, enjoy the rest of your uh, whiskey. And <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Thank right, you thank for you. talking to us. Bye, hail Satan. Hail, 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 Satan.